Three years ago, Judith Mugetta's family of eight lived off $90 a month. That's what her husband earned teaching at the local school. Nearly half of that income was used to buy wood or charcoal fuel for cooking. Many poorer families in Tanzania spend a large portion of their income on wood or charcoal for cooking. It's not just a financial hardship. These traditional fuels destroy valuable trees, while smoky cooking fires cause health problems. Today, all that's changed for Judith and her family because of this. She's using dung from these cows to make an alternative fuel, biogas. The dung and water are mixed together and stored underground in a large vat. A chemical reaction creates the biogas, which is piped through the wall and right into Judith's kitchen. No more smoky fires. No more spending the bulk of the family's income on expensive firewood and charcoal. Low cost, sustainable energy is vital to Tanzania's growth. And women are playing a key role in switching to alternative fuels. They are not only major consumers of green energy, but also budding entrepreneurs. An increasing number of households in Tanzania are headed by women. It's now 30%. And 70% of all agricultural output is produced by women. Judith learned about the financial possibilities of biogas through a multi-step process that's specifically geared toward women. It starts with a World Bank-funded program that works with six African countries, training officials on how men and women use and access energy differently. With their newfound knowledge, these officials develop their own gender-sensitive programs. In Tanzania, the Rural Energy Agency has expanded training opportunities for women. For instance, in this workshop given by Tanzania's Rural Energy Agency, business owners are encouraged to consider gender as they produce and market alternative energies. The workshop leaders are passing on the ideas and information they learned from the bank training program. So training on a government level is leading to real changes in the lives of women on a community level. Using the information on gender differences that she's learned here, Charity Nayava hopes to teach women in her rural village how to benefit from a small hydropower project. As for Judith, she attended a 10-day rural energy agency workshop where she learned about the money she could save switching to biofuel. She created a business plan and secured a loan of $2,000. With that, she bought two pregnant cows and installed the biogas system. But manure isn't the only thing cows are good for. Since she's spending less time tending to the cooking fire, Judith can focus on selling the milk her cows produce. Within just a few months, she has more than tripled the family's income. With the extra money, she and her husband are paying the costs of university for their adult children. As a semi-retired school teacher, Judith's husband knows the value of education. They want the next generation to have even more financial opportunities. The benefits extend beyond the family. Judith has also hired two young adults in her community. One helps with cooking and cleaning, while the other helps make biogas and takes care of the cows. The money they earn helps their own families. But Judith isn't complacent. She's already planning her next business venture. 
tunataka tuweze kile banda lile pale tukishaweza kile banda lile tunataka tufunge kuku wa mayai She'll sell eggs from the chickens to earn even more income, perhaps creating more jobs and more revenue for the community. Gender training at the highest level of Tanzania's energy sector has come to this. A new life for Judith Mugeta. Pia nina furaha kwamba mume wangu amestaafu lakini ninamsupporti katika matumizi ya kila siku na mambo mengine ya razima ambaye anaweza kutusukuma maisha yetu mbele. Kwa hiyo sikuwa na wazo kabisa kwamba ipo siku mimi nitajikwamua katika umaskini uliokuwepo ule. 